If you or someone you know has been diagnosed with CIDP or chronic inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy, you probably have some questions. As discussed in our GBS video, the nerves in your peripheral nervous system help you feel and move. CIDP, the chronic, progressive, or relapsing cousin of GBS, is an autoimmune disease, which means that your body mistakenly attacks itself and damages the myelin coating around your peripheral nerves, stopping your nerves from receiving and delivering their messages properly. Unlike GBS, CIDP has a relatively slow onset and it can take patients months or even years to seek medical help and get an accurate diagnosis. Symptoms develop steadily over a period of at least eight weeks, usually beginning with numbness, weakness, or tingling in your legs and arms, which gets progressively worse as time goes on. Additionally, about 10% of cases start as GBS, but progress to CIDP as symptoms become chronic. Doctors will have to run a few tests to confirm if you have CIDP, including a lumbar puncture and an NCV to test whether your nerves conduct an electrical impulse normally. Diagnosing CIDP can be difficult as its symptoms are similar to a number of other conditions. Once CIDP is diagnosed, you will discuss different treatment options with your neurologist. FDA approved treatment for the management of CIDP includes IVIG or intravenous immunoglobulin but some patients are treated with corticosteroids or plasmapheresis instead. Many patients can be converted from IVIG to subcutaneous immunoglobulin, which is also FDA approved for CIDP. The later treatment is self-delivered by the patient at home once per week using small needles placed under the skin and a small pump. CIDP affects only about one to eight individuals in 100,000 people of all ages. Doctors are still not sure what causes patients to develop CIDP, but we do know that CIDP is not hereditary nor contagious, so you don't need to worry about passing it on to your friends and family. CIDP is chronically progressive, and many patients must receive treatment every three to four weeks to maintain their health. Left untreated, 30% of patients progress to wheelchair dependence, but with proper treatment, 90% of patients can walk without aid. While temporary relapses can be expected and are easily treated, long-term remission from CIDP is possible. Although CIDP is rare and difficult to diagnose, it can be managed, and patients can live relatively normal and healthy lives. The GBS CIDP Foundation International is committed to supporting you in any way we can. The Foundation has information, support services, and educational community events to help you and your family adjust to your new life. Visit our website to get connected and learn more.